Okay, we're back. We're in the PC monitor. In marketing terms, we call this the online gaming PC monitor because we think that if you have any killer product in your rig, it's not just a PC, it's an online gaming PC. And uh, this section of our product just gives you a little bit more detail about the health and performance of your gaming rig. So the first metric you can see is the percentage of primary CPU used. And this is very similar to other monitors that you can have for your system. The only thing we'll say is that because there is a killer 2100 installed in this PC, the, all of the gaming network traffic has been offloaded from the CPU and is running in hardware on our card, and so the CPU is freed up to do other things with your game that help you in other ways and give you better performance all the way around. Percentage of primary NPU used, that's uh, the Killer 2100, is the primary NPU or network processing unit, and you can see the activity down here at the bottom. One of the things you'll notice is that game traffic is not incredibly large, but it's very sensitive to lag and latency. And that's why running it on the Killer 2100 network card uh, puts it at the front of the line, puts it before all other network traffic, so your bullets and your spells and your arrows don't get stuck behind some big chunk of data uh, on the network. We always go first ahead of the line. One of the other metrics you can take a look at is regular bandwidth versus offloaded bandwidth. And you can see here in each of the uh, screens the values there. Um, excellent, uh, again, to see how our product and the Killer 2100 is working. Current memory usage, uh, pretty straight, I guess, because we're just sitting here doing the same things. Uh, you can also take a look at frames per second. One of the things, though, is that you've got to be in-game to see frames per second. I escaped out of a game just before I got in here, and you can see how the online gaming PC monitor really just takes the data from fraps and displays it in this. Um, one of the cool things uh, is that you can always look backwards, and in fact, you can save your data and analyze it later. And one of the last things is ICMP and UDP ping. I've got a lot of things going on here, so my ping is high, but it gives you a good idea of where you stand and what your performance in-game is going to be like. Uh, I mentioned that you can always look back in the online gaming PC monitor. The other thing you can do is you can click on the Save Log button here, and it will save all of the data from the current session into a file that you can open up in a spreadsheet and do analysis later on. So if you're finding that in certain areas of games or in certain servers or at certain times of the day you're having issues, you can always go back and take a look at what that data was and how it appeared and how it affected your game. So that's the online gaming PC monitor. Next we'll show you the application screen. This is where we make our magic with the Killer 2100. Oh,